Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. Don't subscribe. morning me and mrs hat drove to crew last night stayed in a hotel we're here early because i've been told this is a really good place and this is chris Hi. who's invited me on his permission and he thinks we might have a really good day we're going to do what at three fields across over there yeah and then we're going to do this lady's front garden oh, uh, it will take we're doing a front garden <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. And then if we get a chance in the afternoon, we'll do the alternate, alternate free fields. Superb. Now, I've got some news for you. My missus says, you're getting too fat for cake breaks. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what she's given me later on when we have our cake break. She's on the train now, gone to Wimslow for the day, and probably going to go into all the cafes and have coffee and scones. And wait until you see what she's got me. Right, let's get going, shall we? Bye. Right, so... Uh, here we go. I'll come back to you on my first signal, or Chris's first signal, and we'll have a look and see what our first signal of the day is. Be right back. Go get a cup of tea or something. Well, here's my first target. I didn't actually show it on camera because one, the wind is terrible, and two, it didn't sound that good, but that's what it is. I'm not sure what it is, but it's fragile, and it feels old. It's called Hunter. I don't know what that is, though. So, oh, Chris has got something as well, he says. Fantastic. Right, let's go see what Chris has got. Oh, All right, that's good. Maybe it was a horse's name or something. That's what I don't know. You never know. Oh, it's a bit high. It's showing 97. Oh, I don't think that's going to be worth. Oh, for a minute of my time, I'll I'll dig it live. I'm not confident about this one, but now for the sake of 30 seconds of my life, we'll let the spade discriminate instead. Now then, Chris is standing beside me, eagerly watching. He's just found a, what I think is an aluminium token, alloy token, but we'll find out more about that later. So, let's see if it's in the hole, in the spoil, or the plug. Oh, it's still in the hole. Right, nearly there. Hang on, what's this? No. Nope. Ooh, I think it's junk to tell you the truth. And I think I've just seen some rust come up. I hope that's my imagination. Blimey, it's still. I told you it's about eight, seven, uh, seven or eight inches, yeah. Yeah, I knew it. But you've got to dig it, haven't you? In 97, it was telling me that it's going to be a lump of iron, but it had that break in the signal, which gave a little bit of a nice sound in it. But anyway, lovely job. Now let's look at that. Oh, that's a two bob. Look at that through the camera. We just thought, no, that can't be a two. It is, it's a two bob. I was thinking that's too light to be a coin. We get it out, it's had some time to air dry. And look at that. You can see the bust of Elizabeth. That's a oh, yeah. two bob. <laughs> well, Chris has just taken ages digging up that signal <laughs> and it was part of a tin can. It happens to us all. Now, I've just found those two pieces. And when you put them together, I think it says on there, the dandy. I guess that was a free toy gun out of a child's uh, comic. But it's in fragments now. Let's see what Chris thinks. Yeah. What do you think of that? I think that was originally two parts of a, a toy gun. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh well. You can tell the, the right Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit of cast. Yeah. I had several of those things when I had the dandy as a kid, so yes, I am old enough to remember the dandy. <laughs> <laughs> and the Vino. And the Vino, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the Buster. Buster, yes. Yeah. Remember the Buster? Did yeah. you ever subscribe to comics? I'm, I'm, well, 
I'm actually a comic collector. So You're a comic collector? Yeah, yeah, so I've got the full set of 2000 AD. Chris is a comic collector. Ma Martin, my next door neighbour. Martin, if you're watching this, he's a comic collector. Martin, so, Martin's a comic collector. Oh, is he? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what sort though. I'll have to put you in touch with him on my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So fine. you can have a chat yeah, with him. Yeah. So I've got a full collection of 2000 AD for those 2000 AD fans. Uh, I've got a full collection of Warlord, a comic called Warlord. Uh, there was a comic in the 1970s uh, called Bullet got a full collection of that. I've got the membership as well because in that time you could actually apply for membership for the comic itself and you get your special wallet, your secret agent badge. Secret agent badge. So you're a secret agent? No. <laughs> Chuck, I thought I had a secret agent on camera live. Oh well never mind. A comic collector, that is brilliant. I've never met a comic collector apart from my neighbour next door. Comic collector. What, what do you collect? Any of you collect anything? Just leave a comment in the description because now I'm interested. <laughs> uh, sort of sounds okay, that one. Gonna have to... Oh, hello. Where did you come from? <laughs> come on, watch the hole. Right. Let's dig it live. Okay. Are you going or are you watching? I'm going. Can't be bothered to watch you. Right, okay. Right, a little horse has gone off. Running around the field laughing at head off. Let's see what we can find. Still in the hole, I think. Ah, right. the edge. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a button. Gosh, I got excited there for a minute. Oh, blind me. Right, a button. Next. Hey, Tommy, what do you think of it so far? Rubbish. <laughs> Ah, looks like Chris is onto a signal. Was that a good one or? Not bad, 62. Good. Now Chris is on the Garrett AT Pro. Yeah. No, it's it's quite it's quite deep. So I'll give me five minutes. And then... Five minutes? <laughs> five minutes? Why <laughs> mate, Paul can dig a two foot hole in five minutes? <laughs> Well, just got that up, it's probably a mount or something off leather or something like that because I'm in a paddock, so that's my best guess, otherwise I'm stumped. Uh, still in the ground. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, come on. What are you? Uh -oh. oh, right, okay. See rust. Oh, hang on, what's this? It's a threepenny bit. It's only a threepenny bit. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Just need a silver now. Yeah, yeah. Finish the field up. Yeah. We're having this uh, cake break, which oh, I can't bring myself to do it. Really. Look. She gave me a rice cake. It's a whole grain white rice cake. <laughs> she said it's healthier for you. And it's got chocolate on the top because I chose the rice cake. And I don't taste that. The chocolate tastes nice. <laughs> she doesn't know I brought this though. <laughs> Farmhouse cake. Cherries, fruit, lovely. In your cake hole. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mmm. Mm. Well, that's sugar on the top. <laughs> if you happen to know Mrs. Hat, don't say a word. Okay, I've just dug a really nice signal and it's now out of the hole and it's somewhere over here. That sounds lovely. 
And because it sounds so nice, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I can do a really nice live reveal. Hmm, where is it? Uh -huh. Here we go. It's a coin, but I don't know what. I'll just give that a wet and a wash and see what it is. Well, I've washed it. It doesn't look much better. I think that's small enough to be a farthing. No idea. It's a coin. Hey, look at that. Chris is excited because I got my first proper find. Now, saying that, it's only a musket ball, but. Look at that musket ball. It's got a beautiful north-south hemisphere. So that was cast in a particular type of mould. And you can see at the top there, look where it's been nipped from both directions. So it's actually cut off with a pair of pliers. Sometimes they have a star-shaped nip. They cut one direction and then the other one. Or sometimes they even use a knife and just slice it off. So you can tell a lot about the casting of that particular musket ball. That's my first proper find. Oh. Right. I'll do a nice find. Oh, what's this? Oh no, that's not it. Where is it? There. What? Success. Oh, right, hang on. I've lost my target anyway. What have you got? Pound coin. Oh hey! <laughs> a pound coin going out of circulation soon. Better get on the spoke then. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. A pound coin. We've well, got the highest denomination coin so far. <laughs> well done. At least you can spend that too. That's one pound twenty you've got. I just feel so rich. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's better than being in the ground. Yeah, exactly. Now we all know what that is. I wonder if my American friends who are watching this knows what it is. So, just leave a comment. Tell me if you know what that is. And a button. Completely worn, but at least it's a button. I'm finding something. Oh, there's something magnetic about Chris. The horses just love him. Oh, look at that. I've just got an 1875. You can just see that. Oh, yeah, I can read it, see it clearly through the camera. 1875 Haveny, Queen Victoria. We're just walking back to the car. As always, it always happens, doesn't it? That sounds alright. 79, 80. Life dig. Here we go. Wish me luck. I need some. Ooh. Well, I don't know what that little thing is. It's a size for farthing. But I can't see anything on there at all. I've tried making sure the coin is dry. I made sure it's wet. Let's see if I can find anything. I can't see anything at all. Nothing. Might not even be a coin because it's quite thin. I'll just. 10 cents pieces down. I'm not even picking it up on the pound coins. It's got a good seed on 77. Very hard, yeah, it's isn't it? really hard. You have a go with yours. What do you think? Nothing. Hey, got it. Big enough target. <laughs> After all that, 
You'll be able to put all your bits together and make a whole tractor soon. <laughs> it looks like actually a hinge, doesn't it? Is that a hinge? Yeah, it's a hinge. Door hinge, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. Door hinge. Oh, well. Still good. Somebody had to find it. I'm glad it was you. <laughs> Try an experiment, Chris. I found a really tiny little signal. Yeah. Um, I mean, in actual physical size. I want to see if you can pick it up with that. Fine, yeah. All right? Okay. Now, I've, you tell me if you can hear it from where you are. Yeah. Very small. Yeah. And just on this side of that little plant there. Okay, see All if right. you can, see if you can pick it up. Can we hear your sound, or is it you? Yeah. Be able to hear this. Ah, right, okay. okay. So, no, it's just there. Just there. You've got it. Yep. It's only in one direction, isn't it? Ah, oh, you got it. Now, where would you pinpoint that to? About there. Yeah. Okay, now would you dig that signal? Yeah. You would. Oh, oh. ah, hang on a second. Well, the depth is 20 centimetres. Right. Um, That's about eight inches. Yeah. I would, I would dig that. You yeah. would dig it? But it's that, yeah. But it's a very small target, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Where would you pinpoint it to? Same as you. Same as right? Yeah. Oh, right. Fine. Maybe slightly closer to the plant than you were, but within an inch. I only like to dig small plugs if I think I can get away with it. Yeah. Like you said, I think it's you know, reasonably deep, six inches. Oh, mind you, the, the soil is nice and soft underneath. It's just hard getting through the top. Yeah. Right, now I'll see what I can pinpoint it. Ah, it's out. Okay. Or a button? What's this? A button? Yeah. But even so, very impressive. That was a very tiny target. Yep. Very small target indeed. So it looks like it was probably about right, about six inches or so. And uh, it just goes to show, you know, that really was a very, very small area. Yeah. But we managed to get it. Yeah. Well, just dug that one and out popped another musket ball. That's great, and it's got a lovely clean line hemisphere there that shows that the mold was absolutely in great condition. So that's two musket balls today. Look, what, aren't they? Oh my God. That's amazing. Look at that, isn't it? It follows you, look. I snatched it! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've called it a day. Not brilliant, but we found something. I've given the musket balls to the lady landowner because she's quite keen on the Civil War history around here, isn't she? She was very keen. And I tell you what though as well, she also knows who to talk to to get us to potato fields next door. So, that should be interesting. Yes, they've just been turned over. Uh, we've found a few bits and pieces, like a couple of pound coins, yeah. um, a few buttons. But what started off as a very promising permission, uh, it's never been detected before. There's six, six acres that me and Steve have gone through, uh, and we've ended up with no real property, you know, uh, old coins or anything. So you get you get situations like that. I've been on uh, permissions where I've done a couple of acres and I've turned up nothing. So you do get good days and bad days, but I was saying to Steve before, um, it's not as if we've failed today. It, we've eliminated going back here uh, for a while. 
so yeah it could be a different conditions that'll just change the finds you know maybe it's a bit wetter she did say it's been wet and boggy over there and to tell you the truth it was really rock hard wasn't it in places yeah yeah very difficult to spade it. yeah but then again you see you've got horses on that part of the field over there um full time so they're compressing that soil down but you know when it is really nice and wet it might change the conditions and things might happen but generally speaking there were patches over there which were just full of iron so that wasn't good we also if you remember i think uh, it's on the video we did the um, test with the at pro and the dais that's right yes just to see if a small target would be the same performance on both detectors and it was pretty good wasn't it they were virtually identical i'm sure the dais has got to be had that advantage but uh, for the depth that we were going on its target size and the target size was absolutely my use uh, both of them picked them up um, I think thing is I'm wondering whether you would have spotted it in the first place, being so small, because you have to be absolutely precise yes, yeah. uh, with it to pick it up. Yeah. Um, but well, no, considering we had the target, it performed it, it virtually exactly the same. Mm. And we got pinpointing correct, didn't we, and the depth right. Yeah. And the best thing, of course, today is the weather's been great. Oh yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. It's not been too hot, not been too cold, it's been about 18 degrees. No sun, it's been cloudy, perfect, ideal detecting conditions. Yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah. Only thing is I could murder a pint of beer. You know? <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm 152 days today um, into my sobriety, my lifetime sobriety. So I'm pretty pleased with myself about that. But um, I must admit, I do still miss it now and again like this, where you could have a pint with a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I'm just going to go to the pub now. And Are you? No, I'm on a joke. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, Go get your wall charts or show them the wall charts. Because um, I've given him some wall charts today because he hasn't got any. Um, but I do sell them as well on eBay. But my patrons over $5 get a set of wall charts. And um, I designed these myself, had them printed myself. You take that end. There's another poster in the middle. Yeah. Look how big that one is. That's the Roman Emperor's wall chart. The quality is absolutely amazing, stunning. But also, each one has got a little biography. I'll put a close-up on the screen. Each emperor has got a little biography, um, which I've researched and put on the chart. But you know, it's full colour. It's um, A1, flip chart size. And the other one is um, A3. There you go, and that's the British kings and queens. So, thank you, Chris. No problem. So if you become a patron, you know, you uh, get a set of those as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified when I next upload a video. Also, if you would like to consider becoming one of my patrons and helping me develop and grow my YouTube channel, then please see the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Detecting and digging lots of holes Looking for anything that's old New videos every week so please subscribe 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 Catch you later